Hi, my name is Anna, and today I'm going to show you how to make two art projects inspired by the pop art movement using printmaking techniques. Printmaking is basically the art process of transferring images from one surface onto another surface, which is usually paper. One surface is carved in ink, then transferred onto paper or desired surface. It's a neat process art activity that gives you a chance to explore texture, colors, and patterns. And for the first craft, the process consists of drawing an image on styrofoam, then roll ink onto it and transfer it onto color paper to make a print. This craft is inspired by the American pop artist Andy Warhol who created colorful prints with repetitive images from magazines, newspaper ads, and photographs. I'll begin by introducing the tools and materials for this project. What we'll need is eight pieces of three by four inch color paper, one three by four inch piece of styrofoam, water soluble block printing ink, pencil, pen, glue stick, scissors, brayer to roll the ink, a barren or a wooden spoon for burnishing, palette knife, and inking plate. Okay, so let's begin by drawing an image on the styrofoam plate, which in this case, I already have a planned line drawing of my dog. Then I'm going to trace it with pen this creates a better indentation on the styrofoam, but don't press too hard though, you can poke the styrofoam through. The second step is gather all your printmaking materials and arrange, arrange them from printing. This process can get messy, so make sure you have your printing plate on top of a sheet of newspaper or scratch sheet of paper. For the third step, ink the styrofoam plate. Using the palette knife, place a small amount of ink onto the inking plate and with a brayer, roll the ink until you get an even coat. Then roll ink onto the styrofoam plate in multiple directions until you get an even coat as well. For the fourth step is to print your design. Line your printing plate up and place the paper of desired color on top of printing plate. With a barren, press down hard and evenly. This process is called burnishing, which is basically transferring the ink from the plate onto the paper. Then carefully peel your paper from the plate and you have your first print. If you're working with drawing letters, please remember to draw them in reverse side. So when you print, they will print the right way. Okay, so it's time to print your design. So repeat for step five, repeat steps three and four. Make three or more prints using different desired color paper for each. For step six, mount prints onto complementary color paper. Once you have your best prints and are completely dry, cut out the design and mount them with glue stick onto complementary color pieces of paper to create a nice color contrast and to make them pop. One of the things I love about printmaking is that the results are always unique and is an interesting and a fun way to experience cause and effect in art.